three, two, one. Engines full power and lift off. The crew six. Go Dragon. Go Falcon. Vehicles pitching down range, 1.7 million pounds of thrust provided by the nine Merlin 1D engines on the first stage. Hearing good calls, stage one propulsion is nominal. than the speed of sound. Max Q. Stage one, throttle up. All right, now that we're past Max Q. One Bravo. Copy, one Bravo. That one Bravo indicator are different abort modes that are called that allow the ground teams and the crew to track about the position of the Falcon 9 and the Dragon as they make their way up the eastern seaboard. In the event of an abort, these different abort modes would indicate about the position where Dragon Effect would land, started. as well as uh, indicate what series of maneuvers Dragon would indicate. But so far, we're hearing good calls on the performance of the Falcon 9 on its ride uphill. One minute, 53 seconds into flight. We're about 30 seconds away from main engine cutoff which will be followed quickly by stage separation and second engine start, which is the ignition of that MVAC engine on the second stage. Now about 10 seconds away from main engine cutoff. Two alpha. Copy, two Stage alpha. Stage separation confirmed. There you can see on your screen confirmation of stage separation as well as ignition of that second stage engine. Second stage is now carrying the Crew-6 astronauts to orbit. Beautiful view there on the left-hand side of your screen coming from the first stage which as you can see is still gaining an altitude. It has not yet uh, reached its apogee, a beautiful view of the Florida Space Coast there in the background. Meanwhile, we're tracking good performance on that MVAC engine. On the screen to your right, we'll be hearing periodic performance calls about once every minute of the status of the trajectory of the second stage and the Crew-6 astronauts that are inside Crew Dragon Endeavor. We'll also be Position hearing call outs, Bermuda. just like you heard just there, as we pass over the various ground stations along the ascent track. Dragon, SpaceX, nominal trajectory. There's that performance call out. Dragon acknowledges nominal trajectory. As Hearing. for the first stage there on the left-hand side of your screen, that first stage still gaining an altitude, although um, that gain is slowing down. Um, it will be making its way back down to Earth, landing, uh, attempting a, a landing on our drone ship. Just read the instructions, which is located um, off the Florida coast by a couple hundred miles. The MVAC engine on stage two burns for six minutes after second stage ignition. We'll continue to see this engine burn until about eight and a half minutes into today's flight. Dragon, SpaceX, nominal trajectory. 
SpaceX Dragon Nano trajectory. Again, these performance calls happen once a minute. Flight team's continuing to track the Falcon 9 and its ascent. Everything's looking good so far. You'll also continue to hear those check-ins of the ground stations as we pass them. At this point in time, we're roughly two minutes away from the next major event, which will be the entry burn for the first stage. We will relight three engines, uh, three M1D engines on that first stage to help slow the vehicle down uh, as it re-enters the Earth's atmosphere. We're approaching 200 kilometers in altitude. It's about 124 miles. Meanwhile, velocity. Dragon, SpaceX, nominal trajectory. Good trajectory calls. About to pass 12,000 kilometers per hour. Dragon, nominal trajectory. It's about 7,500 miles per hour. Everything looking nominal for both first and second stages. Now coming up to T plus six and a half minutes into flight. Mostly what we're hearing now are the performance calls in the second stage. In about a minute is when we'll see uh, a series of events in rapid succession. It's been a pretty good pace since second stage ignition. Uh, about a, uh, less than a minute from now, we'll start to see Dragon, more action SpaceX, on the first stage. Nominal trajectory. SpaceX Dragon, nominal trajectory. As Gary mentioned, those callouts occurring about once every minute. Now we're about 20 seconds away from the first stage entry burn. That burn will last about 30 seconds and help slow the vehicle down as it re-enters back into the Earth's atmosphere. Stage one entry burn startup. And there you can see- Stage two, FTS has saved. On your screen, that first stage entry burn has begun. That booster sees high drag, which actually scrubs roughly 70% of the velocity by the time that the landing burn begins. So about another 10 seconds of this entry burn. Again, three engines relit, the center and two Stage radial engine engines. And conclusion of that entry burn. Meanwhile, good performance on the second stage. Since second stage ignition, we've been in a two alpha abort mode. The next abort modes will happen in rapid succession to Bravo, to Charlie, Delta, Terminal and Echo. Guidance each indicating different series of maneuvers in the event of an abort scenario. But as you've been hearing through the periodic checks, we're seeing good trajectory, good performance on the Dragon and Falcon 9. Seco, second stage engine cutoff, would be coming at 8 minutes 48 seconds. We're coming up on that event. SpaceX Dragon Shannon. Shannon. Copy, Shannon. Now off the coast of Shannon, Ireland. Standing by for Seco. MVAC shut down. Stage one landing burn. And there we heard the call out indicating that landing burn. Dragon, SpaceX, we have a nominal orbit insertion. Great news there for. SpaceX Dragon copies nominal orbital insertion. Green Green escape system disarmed. For Dragon Endeavor. Stage one, landing way deploy. Attempting to land on our drone ship. Just read the instructions. Stage one, landing is possible. And there you can see on your screen, and also indicated by the cheers behind you. Successful landing of this booster. Its first trip to space, and therefore its first landing.